So today I'm going to be making a hanging garland, safe for mice, hamsters and great for small animals that love to climb. So I'm going to be needing some twine that is completely natural, little pieces of wood, some sandpaper to sand down the wood and some pine cones which are sterilised and safe for every small animal. So the first thing that I did was cut up four small pieces of wood. Now I'm going to need to use sandpaper to sand them down and make them all smooth and so there's no like sharp edges like I did on this one because I need to do the back of this one a little bit better. So I'm now done sanding the wood down. They are all really smooth, ready to be drawn and cut out. So now I'm going to draw a template of an acorn on one of these with just a pencil so I can then cut it out round that shape, sand it again and some nice shaped things ready for the garland. I've drawn the rough four acorn outlines and I've not been too picky about this because it's nature and every acorn's different, like things vary, but um, now it's time to cut them out. So I do have to say it's a super duper good job, I wasn't too picky about everything being the same because all of these acorns are different shapes and sizes. So I've cut the length of twine that I need and I've just laid it out next to everything that's going on it and um, all that's left to do now is to thread these on and then give it to the mice and see their reaction. Okay, so I've got this much done so far and honestly it was very very hard. Getting this little acorn on was very difficult and um, the holes are slightly too small for this twine so I had to push it through with a crochet hook so um, it's quite a fairly process but it's looking really cute so far and I'm very proud of it. Just you probably need to drill bigger holes but um, that was the biggest thing I could find. So, um, just have to make do. So we had a slight issue of things just breaking. Apparently I must have put too much pressure on them or something. They were quite thin wood and um, they just didn't survive it. So I'm not going to be making any more acorns for the garland. Um, it's got two on it at the moment and I think that's okay. Um, there's two more pine cones to go so I might just double up the pine cones at each end instead, shuffle everything along a bit and then call it done. I'm very excited to see their reaction and I think it's looking really cute at the moment. Okay so here is the finished garland. Now ta-da, this is it, the bit that I have actually really been waiting for, to see the garland in its home. And it doesn't actually look too bad. I think it really fits well and it looks like a lovely addition to a natural themed cage. I honestly didn't envisage it to look like this, but I am really pleased with how it turned out and I'm really just happy with it, just as a whole. <laughs>